Katie Havermel, host of Pacifica Currents. Today, our show is part of the series on education in Pacifica. We are going to talk with Pacifica school volunteers today. I'd like to introduce my guests, Joan Weideman, Executive Director of Pacifica School, Pacifica school Volunteers. Hi, Edie. Hello, and Lynn Fung Chung, Chair of Pacifica School Volunteers Board. Hello. We have um, PEF, Pacifica Education Foundation, RSMF, Rob Schneider, Music Foundation, Libraries, Friends of the Libraries, PSD, Pacifica School District, and today we're talking with PSV, Pacifica School Volunteers. As a parent in Pacifica, I've taken classes through PSV, which was very helpful to me. And I was wondering, I didn't know much more about it, and I was hoping today you could give us some background, or give me some background on PSV. Right. Well, PSV is an award-winning nonprofit. Um, we've been recognized by the State Assembly for the work that we do in the education community here in Pacifica. Um, our mission is really to inspire a love of learning and provide support in the classroom for teachers, as well as connect the community um, into our uh, schools and provide a vehicle for that. We started many, many years ago, um, actually 13 years ago, with 20 volunteers. We're now placing over 200, uh, I'm sorry, over 600 volunteers into the schools. We do public schools, um, kindergarten through 12th grade. So we also service the high schools as well and have many programs to support their needs. Uh, the graph that you're seeing here is the growth over the years. Um, and we have provided a huge support network for our schools here in Pacifica. Um, one of the things that's really important about that is that we get support from our community. And very shortly here, we'll hear from one of our uh, biggest supporters, Tom McGraw from the local banks. Some of the programs that we do, um, besides placing weekly volunteers, we also um, provide support for after-school programs, the homework centers, by placing high school volunteers. That's important because they also need to, many of them have community service requirements for graduation. So by facilitating that for them and providing a, a safe environment for them to connect into a community service opportunity, they can fulfill their graduation requirements. We also place um, teacher candidates. So we're able to provide that opportunity. Hi, my name is Tom McGraw. I'm the CEO of First National Bank of Northern California. We have 13 locations in San Mateo County, two in San Francisco, and two very special locations in Pacifica. We financed uh, the first fire engine for the city of Pacifica back in 65. And we believe that it's really important to give back to a community which has supported us for so many years. It was probably about five or six years ago when Gail uh, Shoemaker called and said that, uh, you know, would we be interested in participating? And we thought, wow, what a kind of a, you know, an unusual request. And I wasn't really sure at first what it was. I thought, well, you know, they probably want some money. And they said, you know, we, we yeah, we'd love your money, but we'd really <laughs> love to have you as a a volunteer if you hey, I've been to uh, Sunset Ridge School which has been a, just a wonderful experience reading to kindergartners first grade second grade third grade just these bright young minds that are like sponges that want to absorb uh, all this information the first book that I read was uh, the lazy mr. caterpillar and I was probably more nervous because uh, this was my first uh, presentation in front of a group of kindergartners. And these kids were looking at me with rapt attention on every word. They were hanging on it, and they wanted to make sure they got the story. So I felt a, a real obligation to make it as clear as possible. That really hooked me. That, that experience, after I left there, I said to Gail, look, I'd love to come back and do this again and again and again. We're also involved uh, in the Oceana High School Senior Project evaluations. The students are given a topic at the beginning of the school year. They have to research that topic, and it culminates in a 20-minute presentation, usually right at the end of the school year. But these kids came across with confidence, with, with a sense of self-assurance, and those are the kinds of qualities, regardless of the subject matter, that ability to get up in front of people, to plant your feet firmly, to be able to communicate effectively, are so important in life, no matter what kind of job you have. You know, the future is so bright for our children, and the only way that we're going to ensure that they get the most opportunity out of life is to provide them with a quality education. 
quality education raises the bar for the entire community. It also provides skilled individuals for employment opportunities as they matriculate through high school and into college. Often what we look for are the interpersonal skills, the, the passion for service, integrity, honesty. Education, it's essential for the future of this country. Are we going to educate our students so that they can become contributing members of society or are we going to a baseline of education and not really worry about quality education? Then what do we have to do? We have to look to other countries to bring people in to fill those needs and that's not something I think we want to do. Let's be real, we're in a time of great economic difficulty and so obviously you need more than just one teacher and one classroom. You've got to have support. You've got to have it from the administrators, from the district and also from the community. The Pacifica School Volunteers are always looking for people to help. More people are needed and in, in our small way by publicizing the fact that the uh, school volunteers are uh, play an important role in the community and that we need more of them, it gives us an opportunity to try and help support the cause. If you come into any of our branches and you see the little sign there, stop and take a look at it. And if you haven't volunteered yet, you might want to give it some thought. It's not real complicated. And as long as it comes from the heart, that's the most important thing. That was very inspirational. Just fantastic. So you've talked about who, somewhat who you serve, but yeah. can you give more information about who you serve in the community? How, who we serve in the community. So beyond the community, um, the community members really coming in and doing the read aloud days and doing um, the weekly volunteering. Uh, the teachers, um, people wanting to go into the teaching profession. In order to enter the credentialing program, they need to complete 45 hours of volunteer work in schools, and in particular the schools that have um, the right uh, socioeconomic group in terms of uh, learning skills to work with kids that are disadvantaged as well as English language learners. And Pacifica School Volunteers has been very successful with that um, in terms of providing that opportunity for those people to become teachers. Um, also our high school students, as we were talking about a little bit before, they need to have um, graduation requirements. And so by connecting them into the schools, um, we also support them as well from their high, to complete their high school graduation. And, and also, um, some of them are just looking for it in terms of building their resumes for college. Mm -hmm. so, we ser so beyond serving the schools, we are the conduit for other people to come into the school schools to fulfill the needs that they have. And how do the high school students um, help when they're actually in school themselves? So um, high school students usually come after they finish their school day. They can either be part of our homework centers where they're part of peer-to-peer -peer tutoring, which really helps them. Um, William Glazer has said that to, the best way to learn, the best way to reinforce your learning is to teach. So we really think this is an opportunity for both the high school student and for the younger student. Yeah. Also, our high school students do come in and help the teachers themselves with their classroom, with correcting papers, and just maintaining all of the, the way we like our classrooms to look. You know? So I think that lets them be part of the community, even though they may not be touching a student directly. If someone has only a limited amount of time to help, um, are there short-term volunteering projects that they can help with? Absolutely. As you saw with Tom McGraw, we really try to make a wide variety of volunteering opportunities available to start with one-time events and also short-term events. Our one-time events include the Read Aloud Day and the Oceana Senior Exhibition, 